hi guys welcome to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel I really do appreciate all the love and all the support and thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me it is truly appreciated okay so as you guys can tell by the title of this video, this video is going to be about who wants to ask you out on a date, okay? So pile number one, you're going to be the rose quartz crystal. Pile number two, you're going to be the amethyst crystal. And pile number three, you're going to be the red jasper. Okay, so pile number one, the rose quartz crystal, pile number two, the amethyst crystal, and pile number three, the red jasper crystal. Okay. So pause this video if you must and meditate on the crystal or the card that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi Pawan! Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pile number one, you picked the Rose Crows Crystal and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pile number one, who wants to ask you out on a date? Who wants to ask you out on a date, my pal number one? Who wants to ask you out? Okay, so pal number one, we have the sixth house, sustainability. Okay, so this is somebody who has a really good work, um, home balance, okay, life balance. Okay, this is, could be somebody who likes to work out or has like a really clean diet. They could have Virgo in their chart because the sixth house is a Virgo's house, okay? And I'm getting like, this could be somebody who likes to meditate a lot. Maybe they like to spend most of their time alone. They're, I'm not getting like they're a loner, but they like their alone time, okay? So who wants to... Who wants to ask you out on a date? Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. This person, yeah, financially they are stable. Who wants to ask you out on a date? Okay, we have four of wands. Somebody sees you as a twin flame soulmate. It could be somebody that you met at um, like some sort of celebration, a gathering, ceremony with the four of wands. We have Scorpio energy here with the death card. This person could have like an air of mystery to them, but I'm getting like this person has like, um, like they are resilient with the death card, okay? Who wants to ask you out on a date? Oh, there's a card I flipped over. We have the 10 of wands. So this person may have a lot of responsibilities on their plate. This is somebody who is extremely busy as well when it comes to that's why they have a really good work life balance because they have so much things to do all at once so they know how to you know delegate some tasks if they have to i'm getting like this person could be a boss they could be a leader they could be um a manager it doesn't necessarily have to be somebody at your work but i'm getting this person for a living this is what they do they're in like in a management position i'm getting with the sixth house because they have a lot of responsibilities with the ten of wands okay this is somebody also with the death card that likes to improve themselves that likes to work on becoming the best version of themselves and we have the star here they could be extremely popular in um 
their community with the star this person could be in the public eye as well so they could be an influencer um, they could be a youtuber okay with the star card there's like they definitely have some sort of platform where they they could even share um, like what they do for a living or how they manage to have a work-life balance maybe this is what they do they are a guru okay a master at their craft Ooh, we have the ace of cups yeah this person definitely has feelings for you too this could be like let's say if you are a youtuber here I feel like this person could be a youtuber too okay we have the yeah the moon card so definitely um you may um know this person or may not know this person or you may not know that they have a thing for you with the moon card this is somebody who's highly intuitive as well then i'm getting like they meditate a lot or they have a lot of visions with the moon here okay this is somebody who knows how to manifest we have the nine of pentacles yeah this person's self-sufficient this is why i was getting like somebody who is self-employed with the nine of pentacles they are definitely single okay this is what i'm getting here with the nine of pentacles they have expensive tastes they, they could definitely be a virgo because nine of pentacles is virgo energy this is somebody who is um meticulous in their approach when they do things they could be a little bit of a perfectionist as well but I'm getting like they are extremely abundant on their own. So they don't really need anybody in their world. They choose to be with someone. But I feel like this person has been single for a long time, like maybe three years, three to four years. They've been single and now they're ready to, you know, find somebody to, you know, establish a connection with. OK, this, this person is looking for something serious. It's not something shallow. They're not looking for like a one night stand or anything like that. This is somebody who's looking for yeah, sustainability okay that's why it says sustainability here and we have the knight of pentacles that came out as i was shuffling okay yeah this is somebody who is loyal that's looking for long term and this is why i was getting they've been single for a while because the knight of pentacles is somebody who likes to take their time they don't like to rush the process and i'm also getting this person may have had their heart broken in the past this is the reason why they had to focus on themselves rebuild themselves i'm also getting this person had to heal from some sort of trauma with the star card okay who wants to ask you out on a date? This person is definitely loyal, okay? They're dedicated to. Yeah, they have a lot on their plate. Two of Pentacles. They're juggling a lot of things, a lot of responsibilities. Yeah, I feel like this person's extremely busy at work or like they're busy body. But we have the temperance here. They do have a good balance they know how to balance things out so they know when it's time to relax and they know when it's time to work they work i'm getting this person does not work hard they work smart okay with the temperance card they know how to balance things out perfectly okay this person is also extremely wise yeah yeah i see seven of pentacles this is somebody who's patient here yeah, they definitely don't like to rush the process. They like to analyze the situation before they make their move. So I feel like this person has been eyeing you, watching you from afar. Because with the moon, like I said, you may not know who this person is. For some of you, you may know this person, but you don't think that this person has their eyes on you because they're so quiet, they're so laid back. They're, they act like nonchalant, but really they have a lot of feelings. They, like they're, they're very... Um, active when you get to know them on a personal level this person has like a very bubbly personality but they just come off as distant at first because it's like i feel like they've been hurt and you see we have the three of swords at the bottom of the deck this person has been hurt in the past so this is why they are a little bit um cautious here okay so who wants to ask you out on a date my pal number one oh nine of cups Okay, Nine of Cups. I know it came out in reverse, but I'm not being called to take it in reverse. It's a wish fulfillment. Okay, somebody who gets what they, who gets their wish fulfilled. Okay, so who wants to ask you out on a date? Oh, we have the Queen of Cups that flew out. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So this is somebody who is dedicated, that works really hard. Like I said, this person has feelings. Like they, their feelings, they run deep with the Queen of Cups. This person could definitely, yeah, we have Scorpio here, so definitely have water in their chart. 
they feel on a deeper level and i feel like the reason why they like to stay alone as well is because they could sense other people's uh, feelings so whenever they feel like somebody's shady or have hidden motives they like to stay away they rather stay away with the queen of cups okay they can read people very easily we have the eight of pentacles this person likes to work like i said they work really hard but well sorry work really smart they are extremely talented here they know how to wow nine of pentacles again this person wow they're definitely self-sufficient that's one thing i'm noticing about this person that keeps coming back the energy that keeps coming back they work best alone it's not like they can't work in a team but working alone is where they could um, draw all their strength and produce the most beautiful quality of work or quality product so if this person is like somebody who creates products their products are extremely amazing because this person takes a lot of time in cultivating their skills and also improving their products like you know always doing research so this is why i'm getting like they spend a lot of their time alone okay because working alone is like the best option for this person who wants to ask you out on a date okay oh we have the page of Pentacles page of Pentacles could represent friendship it can represent like a small offer okay exciting new opportunity a stable opportunity for some of you this person could be um, a friend of a friend like six degrees of separation with this person like i said this is what i was getting like you may not know who they are personally you may have seen them around you may um have like be around the same social circle but not directly friends okay with the page of pentacles like you guys met i feel like you guys met this person before maybe once or twice and it was brief a brief encounter but i feel like you guys may have kept in contact so you may follow this person on instagram you may follow them on youtube so you may watch their video and they may also follow you back okay so this is how this person could like still have contact with you even though they may not know you personally or like um like for a long period of time but i'm getting like this person the more and more they watch you the more and more they see the content that you post the type of like um activities that you do your hobbies they feel like you know you could be a match for them like i said this person is cautious with the knight of pentacles this is somebody who takes their time with the seven of pentacles okay they're extremely patient if they have to wait three years before they ask somebody out they will this is the type of person that you know take their time because they have other things to do so relationship is not like their main focus but i feel like now this person is looking for that other side like to complete them okay to complete their full circle for them like you know every department of their life they want it to be uh, sustainable okay to be balanced and this is why they're looking to they're right now they're looking to date and they have their eyes on you so who wants to ask you out on a date my pal number one who wants to ask you out on a date I was gonna say pal number two Wow four of wands again wow so this is why i was getting this you met this person at some sort of gathering but they definitely see you as wish fulfillment and like a lover soulmate and i feel like when you guys met you guys had a really good time together even if it was brief even if it was like just one night at a gathering everybody was there some of you i'm getting you may have met this person at a gala or a charity work or something like that not a like a charity like where you guys were at or an organization where they were having a charity work but it could have been like a you know when they have those charity nights and people um donate but it's like kind of like a gala as well it's like a ball i hope i'm making sense but i feel like you guys met this person there for some of you not all of you and and i'm getting some of you may have met this person through like a networking event through a mutual friend or a mutual acquaintance okay with the four of wands it was some sort of like celebration ceremony gathering okay definitely was a lot of people there who wants to ask you out we have the six of wands yeah this person is um extremely successful they're self-made this is what i'm getting from this person they're definitely self-made who wants to ask you out what do we have here wow three of pentacles mm -hmm. it's definitely an acquaintance 
you guys met through, there's a third party so that means you met through someone else okay and this is exactly what i was saying you met this person through another friend or another acquaintance or like somebody that you guys know in that you have in common with the three of pentacles so who wants to ask you out on a date who wants to ask you out on a date we have six of pentacles this person could be extremely generous this is why I was getting like some sort of charity work. It could have been their charity and then you got invited by a mutual friend. They were the one throwing the, the event, okay? And they you we were introduced to this person briefly, okay? They maybe offered you a drink, they offered you, or maybe they introduced you to other people. Like either that or it's like a networking event you guys went to and this person was there. So who wants to ask you out on a date? Just one card. Just one card. Yeah, we have the Queen of Swords. This person is extremely intelligent, okay? They know how to engage in intelligent conversation with the Queen of Swords. They could definitely be, um, wow, an Aquarius with the, the Star card, okay? So we'll be using the initials just to get confirmation of who this person could be, okay? So who wants to ask you out on a date? My pal number one. Who wants to ask you out on a date? Who wants to ask you out on a date, my pal number one? So we have A, T, E, D, R, double S, T, Y, O, L, L C S F B J E Z F N U B S C Q double M H I Z double X L I G E S L and M. Okay. So that's all I have for you, my pal number one. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number one. Bye. Hi, pal two. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number two, you picked the Amethyst Crystal. And this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back I'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie welcome thank you so much for tuning in so the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings my pal number two okay so who wants to ask you out on a date my pal number two who wants to ask you out on a date? So, pile number two, we have the fifth house, passion, okay? This person could be a Leo, don't have to be. This person um, is regal. I'm getting because I was drawn to take the amethyst, and we do have purple on this card, and amethyst is purple, so I'm getting like a regal energy. This person has a very a flamboyant personality they're outgoing who wants to ask you out on a date who wants to Ooh, ace of cups this is somebody who has feelings for you as well okay who wants to ask you out on a date we have the death card scorpio energy this person is a little bit um i'm getting persistent maybe they have tried in the past to ask you out on a date who wants to ask you out on a date what do we have here we have the hangman okay waiting and we have the hermit okay um virgo energy so yeah this person is like patiently waiting for the right moment to come towards you 
I'm, you know what I'm getting? I'm getting this person may have had the chance to ask you out on a date and they did not take that chance. Like there was like an opening. I feel like you guys, um, there was like mutual attraction between you and this person because I'm getting passion. So definitely you are feeling this person too, but it never led to anything. You guys never went anywhere. You never took it to the next level because this person never acted on their passion for you because we have the ace of cups so there was definitely some sort of love um or feelings involved and we have the death card this is like an ending or a rebirth a new beginning of some sort and we have the hangman this is like waiting looking for the right moment reevaluating your steps before you take action and the hermit is like you know somebody who's looking within for to find the answers so i feel like this person had the opportunity to ask you out and they didn't take it who wants to ask you out on a date my pal number two okay wow we have the five of wands and five of swords okay there could have been like some sort of conflict of interest or ooh, like there could have been like some sort of competition we have the five of swords five of swords is like angry energy okay pettiness um or yeah like pettiness um arguments and we have five of wands. I feel like there was somebody around the two of you that intervened or uh, interfered in this connection. Because I feel like both of you guys were feeling each other, okay? There, there was definitely a mutual attraction here between you and this person. But you see five of wands. There was definitely somebody else that came in. Like a, I heard cock blocker with the five of wands and the five of swords. And this is the reason why this person did not take their chance with you or did not go like you know ask you out when they had the chance because somebody came and cock block this connection with the five of wands and five of swords i'm not getting this is their energy i'm getting like there's like an outside energy like a third party that came and interfered we have the eight of pentacles who wants to ask you out on a date we have libra energy with the justice here this person could be a libra or you could be the libra here this person could be Libra Virgo Cusk or Libra Scorpio Cusk. Okay, but this is somebody who is extremely talented with the Eight of Pentacles. They may work hard, like make work a lot. Okay, they're always improving themselves. They're always um, focusing on their own passion. Okay, I feel like this person could be shy at times or don't like maybe they get embarrassed easily or whenever they get put on the spot this person doesn't really like that okay so i feel like they shy away from social gatherings as well so they rather work you know on their passion on their skills to better themselves okay this person could come off as a bit of a perfectionist as well they could be hard on themselves with especially with the virgo energy this person could be hard on themselves because they want to do things perfectly in a specific manner and if they don't achieve that perfectness they they get mad they get hard on themselves also with the libra energy they like everything to be a specific way to be balanced okay if it's not balanced this person could like it could throw them off this is what i'm getting here but there's definitely was a hater somebody was like hating on you guys um like it could have been like either your ex was hating or tried to interfere or tried to cock block or it could have been that person's ex or like a friend there's was definitely somebody who tried to cock block this connection because both of you were feeling each other so who wants to ask you out on a date didn't i say guys three of pentacles didn't i say there was like a third party there was someone else there was another person three of pentacles for some of you it could be like um somebody in your entourage with the three of pentacles it could be somebody that you work with that tried to intervene with this connection like it could have been like you know you were feeling this person they were feeling you and you guys were about to take it to the next level go on a date and then somebody comes in and tells you some sort of rumor or some sort of gossip about this person that not that you listen to the gossip but it's like maybe it just pushed each other away because it was like you know hearing it from like you know just people talking speculating and then just either you or this person was not comfortable with it so you, you guys let it go but i feel like this person is like they want to ask you out they don't they want to like do it again a do over we have the strength card this person could definitely have leo in their chart because we have the, the fifth house and now we have the strength card which is leo energy this person is extremely courageous okay they do the right thing even if no one is looking and i feel like that's the reason why 
initially when you guys were feeling each other they didn't like ask you out because of what was going on around you with the five of wands and the five of swords like there was definitely people that they want you guys to come together because i feel like if you guys came together and actually dated it would have been like a successful relationship who wants to ask you out on a date wow this person sees you as wish fulfillment with a nine of cups okay who wants to ask you out on a date who wants to ask you out what do we have here wow we have the emperor yeah this person could be a boss they could be a manager yeah this person is definitely in a leadership position with the emperor they could be an aries They're like fire okay yeah this is why this person doesn't mind working alone Okay, they're extremely disciplined as well who wants to ask you out wow king of pentacles financial stability yeah this is somebody who's trustworthy and we have virgo here so this person could definitely have virgo in their chart or be a virgo who wants to ask you wow emperor again wow that aries energy that emperor energy is coming out heavy yeah this is somebody um, I'm also getting that it could have been like something where this person is in a leadership position and some people were like telling them not to go out with you. I'm really getting there was some sort of cock blocking here. Somebody was definitely blocking this connection. Who wants to ask you out on a date? My pal number two wow two cups yeah this person wants to date you and be your lover but you see three of swords rejection uh, oh gosh yeah this person with the three of swords there was some sort of rejection that's what i said like you guys were feeling each other you guys were wanted to go out on a date and getting to know each other on a more deeper level but there's definitely a rejection here either you rejected this person or they rejected you or you guys both rejected each other out of fear of like you know drama or instigation or people speculating spreading rumors gossip and lies because the five of swords is like somebody who's petty somebody who will do anything who's spiteful okay there was like a spiteful energy around you around this person that was trying to stop this connection but they definitely want another chance with the star card they want to heal this um situation with you with the two cups and you see i'm getting like it could be like their ex or your ex that was trying to break you guys off or like pushing you guys away so that way you guys don't date because i feel like either like let's say if it was your ex your ex knew that if you wouldn't went with this person you guys would have stayed together for a long time it could lead to marriage okay or a long-term commitment because they definitely see this they know that this person is like everything that you want in a partner and the same thing for this person if it was their ex that was doing that they knew that you had the qualities that they were looking for in a partner and that's why they didn't want you guys to come together we have the eight of wands okay they definitely want to message you i feel like this person was able to get rid of the people that were interfering in this connection and now they want to try again they're hoping that you would give them a second chance didn't i say lead to marriage four of wands they know the people around you that didn't want you guys to date knew that you guys could lead to marriage that there was a strong possibility to lead to marriage okay who wants to ask you out on a date yeah this person is no longer worried with the eight of swords in reverse they're no longer trapped in fear they're not worried about what people are going to say how they're going to react who's gonna say what okay they're willing to leave people out in the cold if they have to with the five of pentacles they're willing to do that and we have the devil yeah this person is extremely attracted to you with the devil this person could have capricorn in their chart yeah this person is extremely attracted to you and they're also extremely attractive yeah this is somebody who has amazing work ethics who wants to ask you out on a date what do we have here wow we have the queen of cups and the ace of pentacles guys this person definitely wants to invest in you with the ace of pentacles they want to come in with an offer something sustainable and i feel like that's the reason why people were trying to stop this connection to come to fruition this person is emotionally mature with the queen of cups 
they're very caring very nurturing okay this is somebody who is family oriented as well with the queen of cups yeah, we have the emperor twice this is the father okay like um masculine energy provider type of energy okay it doesn't matter if it's a woman or a man this person is very caring they care about their family they give their all like i said they're passionate and we have the ace of pentacles the ace of pentacles is like a solid offer something that is trustworthy that's going to last the test of time and this is what this person wants to offer you okay they want to come in and build something solid with you they are definitely um like um committed so who wants to ask you out on a date who wants to ask you out on a date my pal number two what do we have here we have temperance sagittarius energy so this person is extremely wise they're balanced okay with the temperance energy this is also somebody who um, sees things from a different perspective. They're optimistic. This is why I feel like this person did not give up on this connection, did not give up on you. I feel like they left like some sort of distance between the two of you to let things settle down. Like maybe there was, like I'm getting that could have been rumors either about you or about this person. And then like you guys didn't even get the chance to even like know each other and this is what i'm getting here and this person wants to give it another go they were waiting for the right moment to approach you again and like you see we have the star this person's hoping that you would give them a chance because i feel like um the way that you guys separated or had to part ways it was not really pleasant because we have the five of pentacles okay so it was not really a pleasant experience i feel like this person was also grieving you because we do have the three of swords so there was definitely a heartbreak okay it was not comfortable for this person to actually let you go because they really were fond of you really fond of you with the ace of pen the ace of cups being here but like i'm telling you there is definitely a hater five of pentacles uh, sorry five uh well we have five of pentacles but we have five of wands we have five 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 this is change ending new beginning something is like so you're leaving something else behind for something better okay and this is what this person is also doing leaving people behind they're no longer worried about who's talking ish okay that cock blocker that's blocking this connection so we're going to be using my initials just to get confirmation of who this person could be so who wants to ask you out on a date my pal number two Who wants to ask you out on a date? Okay, so we have I, C, R, O, T, L, V, X, F, W, K, B, J, R, G, O, D, B, um v maybe some of you like wu-tang because i just said odb um u r y k n a t p x b j n f w a j x c f v and v again okay so that's all I have for you, my pal number two. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number two. Bye. Hi, pal three. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number three, you picked the red Jasper crystal. And this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back I'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie welcome thank you so much for tuning in so the way I like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous file or previous readings okay so my pal number three, who wants to ask you out on a date? 
Who wants to ask you out on a date, my pal number three? Who wants to ask you out on a date? Okay, so pal number three, we have Aries, act. So this person could be an Aries, okay? Um, this is somebody who is driven, um, career driven, goal driven. They could also be um, somebody who's a pioneer, the first to ever do it. They're, they could also be the first in their family to graduate from university or college. I don't know why I'm getting that, but this is the vibe I'm getting from this person, okay? Who wants to ask you out on a date? For some of you, it could be an old classmate. Wow, we have the Ace of Wands. This person's extremely creative, okay? Yeah, especially with the Aries card. Yeah, they're definitely creative. We have the Magician, okay? They're a master manifester. They could have Gemini or Virgo in their chart. This person is also a great communicator. Wow, Ace of Swords. Yes, this person's a great communicator. They speak their truth, they're honest in their dealing with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, they're an extremely great communicator, okay? So who wants to who wants to ask you out on a date? We have the Four of Swords. Okay, so this could be somebody who had to overcome some sort of mental health issues with the Four of Swords. Maybe they went through some sort of um depression period where things were not going well in their life but this person was like this is somebody who's determined so even if they go through hardship in life they always get up and try again this is not a quitter okay this is like a definitely an action orienter a doer a go-getter okay this is what i'm getting from this person so they may have gone through some sort of mental exhaustion as well with the four of swords that they had to you know calm down and like take a breather okay stop doing everything all at once this is what i'm getting this person had to you know get some sort of not some help but i'm getting like some people in their family or in their life had to tell them to slow it down because they were doing too many things at once i feel like this is a person that likes to go 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 and when they do that sometimes they, they may um not take care of themselves or they may like neglect their health neglect their their body okay so this is what like i'm getting from this person so who wants to ask you out on a date we have the hermit virgo energy this person could like to spend a lot of time alone yeah but and you see how we have the hermit this is somebody who is definitely health conscious but once they get going it's like everything is thrown out the window they don't really care anymore because they're so motivated to get their goals um complete or achieve their goals that they forget about their health so they're definitely working on having some good balance work-life balance here with the hermit card this is somebody who also works out a lot too so sometimes like they don't give them uh give their body enough time to rest too so they could be um at extreme sometimes where they neglect their body or they overwork to the point of exhaustion this is what i'm getting here who wants to ask you out on a date we have the devil Ooh, capricorn energy yeah this is somebody who is um yeah they um they're addicted to getting better to improving okay this is where i was getting that energy where they get going they forget what they're doing they forget like to take care of their health because they're so focused they're so obsessed with accomplishing their goals but i'm also getting this person is very sexually uh potent like they have sexual energy powerful energy and they are extremely attractive so people like gravitate towards this person with the devil Wow, we have the King of Cups and we have the Queen of Cups. This person has a good balance of feminine and masculine energy with the Queen and the King of Cups. Yeah, they're really in touch with their feminine side. This could, I'm really getting to like one person, not two people, because like the Queen and the King of Cups obviously is a pair, but I'm getting this person that has a good balance of like their emotions when it comes to the feminine and the masculine aspect. So this person knows sometimes like, because the King of Cups, yes, he is emotional, but sometimes he hides his emotion. He doesn't really show it to the world. He's really no, he's really good at 
holding back and like masking their emotions they have a really good poker face but with the queen of cups is like the other balance where she's more maternal she is more open with her emotions she is more selfless with her emotions so this is what i'm getting here this person has a good balance of both feminine and masculine energy in their chart we have the ace of cups we almost have all the aces so this is a really good energy this person has feelings for you too so who has who wants to ask you out on a date my pal yeah they definitely want to romance you with the knight of cups this person is extremely charming this is why i'm getting like that devil energy they're very seductive too yeah like this person knows that they are attractive they know that people love to gravitate towards them they love their energy but because of that you see with the queen and the king of cups this person does not take advantage of people they are emotionally mature to know that okay it's not good to prey on people's emotions or their weaknesses okay because i feel like this person is capable of doing that with the devil but they don't who wants to ask you out on a date my pal number three we have the queen of pentacles you see this person's balanced and we have the knight of swords this person is quick on their feet they're extremely intelligent but you see with the queen of cups sorry the queen of pentacles this is somebody who is trustworthy okay they are extremely balanced okay they have a lot of compassion they make everything beautiful around them this is somebody who likes to take care of home they like to take care of their family okay they're family oriented here this is somebody who's extremely family oriented and this is also somebody who um ha is financially stable they're really good with money they may even have their own business or a side hustle and this is the where i'm getting like this person sometimes they overdo it when like that's what i'm gonna get like their family may tell them like to slow it down they don't have to do everything in one day this is what i'm getting from this person like once they get going they don't know how to stop when they're like so focus on that goal okay they're very dedicated to achieving it sometimes at the expense of their health okay so who wants to ask you out on a date my pal number three Ooh, you see six of wands this person's victorious they have a successful business or a successful career they could be a ceo i heard cfo they could also be like um I don't know i heard partner for some of them they could be lawyers like this person could be a lawyer or work for a law firm okay who wants to ask you out on a date but this person is extremely successful in their life okay especially in their career who wants to ask you out on a date yeah this person's single nine of pentacles okay they're not dating anyone okay this person had could have been single for a long time okay for some of you maybe not but this person is a legible bachelor this is why i'm getting like with the devil energy they attract a lot of people because they live a life of luxury and the reason why they live a life of luxury is because they're also very dedicated to get things done to accomplish a certain level of um comfortability in their life they want to be able to i'm getting that like they may take care of their family like their parents with the queen and the king of cups that could represent also this person's parent they may take care of their parents and this is the reason why they overdo it when it comes to work okay and now this person wants to balance things out that's why i'm getting they may have been single for a long time because they've been taking care of their family and we have the nine of cups that flew out of the deck this person sees you as wish fulfillment okay i feel like you may have met this person while you were jogging I don't know why i just got that but for some of you you may have met this person while you were jogging or like this person jogs every morning they have a routine i'm really getting this person likes routine okay and they may see you on their way when they're jogging and you're on your way to work there's something that where you guys always meet or always see each other so it's like this person is a familiar face you guys don't work in the same space you guys don't know the same people i just feel like this person is in your entourage in your environment and you see this person often so let's say if they were to walk up to you you would be like yeah i don't know you but i recognize you i see you every morning you jog or at this time or they walk their dog there's something that they do repetitively that um puts you in the same path as this person that like where you see them often okay this is what i'm getting here who wants to ask you out 
on a date my pile number three we have the hangman pisces energy who wants to ask you out we have queen of wands okay yeah this person's extractive i'm telling you and the queen of wands is like aries energy okay fire energy this is somebody who is confident like i said it was a leader a self-starter they act but when they like you know they they need like i'm getting like this person may need some sort of balance because they overdo certain things okay at the expense of other things especially their health this is like the energy i keep hearing like i keep feeling for this person who wants to ask you out we have four of wands four of wands is stability so this person comes from a um, happy home with the four of wands they definitely see you as a twin flame a soulmate but you see with the hangman this person is like waiting for the right moment to approach you like i'm telling you you guys see each other often maybe not every day but every other day at a specific time at a specific place because this person likes routine okay they don't they do the same thing every day okay they don't mind doing that okay they, they do repetitive things but it helps them build a momentum when they do that and i feel like you either see this person like either you're about to go grab a coffee or you're about to take the bus or you're about to take um walk you could be walking your dog in the park and this person's jogging this is the vibe i'm getting or maybe they're out on the bicycle path okay like, you know, in the morning, this person has a routine and you do have a routine too, okay? And you guys always see each other. So this is why I'm getting like a familiar face. So who wants to ask you out on a date? Okay, I guess not. Who wants to ask you out on a date, my pal? We have three of pentacles. Three of pentacles could represent third party. It could also represent somebody like um, like third um, six degrees of separation with the three of pentacles. Who wants to ask you out? Okay, we have the page of cups. Who wants to ask you out on a date? We have the seven of pentacles. This is somebody who is extremely patient here. But you see, with the three of pentacles, um, there is some sort of like not partnership but i feel like there is some sort of connection here where you may know somebody that knows this person okay like there is a mutual person point of contact between you and this person with the three of pentacles somebody in your entourage knows this person and you guys might be introduced to each other or have already been introduced to each other with the page of cups you know what i just got i feel like that may not resonate for all of you maybe some of you but you may have spilled some coffee on this person by accident or they have spilled coffee on you i'm getting some sort of like situation where you guys bump into each other somebody had coffee and it spilled on the other person and they want to make it up to you this is how they're going to ask you out on a date i'm getting like this could be like for maybe five percent of you but i'm getting like i just got that vision that one of you spilled coffee on the other person by accident maybe you guys bump into each other and then the the coffee spilled okay and this person wants to apologize to you or you want to apologize to this person so you're hoping that you could bump into them again so that way you could apologize and i feel like by you you guys like interacting like that there will be an opportunity for them to ask you out on a date okay i'm really getting it's not for everybody but like just for a specific group of people that it resonates with okay i'm just getting that vibe i just got that with the three of pentacles and the page of cups okay it can also mean that somebody in your entourage will introduce you to this person like they know somebody that you know you may not know it yet but they could be friends with your neighbor they could be friends with your barber if you go to the barber shop or like your hairdresser there's some sort of like third person that knows the both of you okay so we're going to be using my initials just to get confirmation of who this person could be Okay, who wants to ask you out on a date? Who wants to ask you out on a date, my pal number three? Okay, so pal number three, we have 
um, X, G, D, F, U, double A, X, G, L, A, N, N, D, U, S, um, C, O, D, um, double O, R, W, N, W, H, S, G, M, X, B, C, Q, double V, O, C, O, I said C and it was R, oh my gosh, I'm looking at C and I'm saying, and I'm holding R, sorry, it was R, and then C, A, A, T, K, S, double M, O, and R, okay? So that's all I have for you, my pal number three. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number three. Bye.